Hi, here at Ward Science we're dedicated to bringing you the best possible equipment for you to use in your physics classroom. My name is Matt Benware and I'm the physicist here at Ward Science and I would like to talk to you today about our ballistic pendulum. The history of this apparatus goes back over 60 years to when a farmer was trying to determine the velocity in which his muzzleloader fired a shot. To determine that, he set up a hanging log and he fired a bullet into it and measured how high that log actually raised. From that height, he determined the kinetic energy the log gained and worked backwards to determine the velocity at which his muzzleloader shot. Now, today, we cannot do this experiment in the classroom with live firearms. So, our own Paul Klopstek, along with the Senko staff, developed this design which virtually hasn't changed in over 50 years. So now you can safely recreate this classic experiment in your own classroom. The beauty of this device is that you can do multiple concepts with that at once. You can do conservation of energy, conservation of angular momentum, you can use this as a rigid arm pendulum, or if you remove the pendulum and the catch, you can use this as a horizontal projectile launcher, or set it up at an angle and do complex projectile launchers. Now to set it up for the classic experiments, you simply load back the ball. You make sure no one is down in the direction of the ball in case it does miss, which is very rarely. And then you simply fire. The height in which the catch raises up to, minus the height that it initially started at, is the potential energy that that ball and pendulum catch gained. Students can work backwards to take the potential energy at the top to the kinetic energy of the ball at the bottom and determine the velocity in which the ball was fired. If you want to, you can take this further and investigate the stored energy in the spring or the potential energy that the spring had and therefore the spring constant of the spring. If you remove this completely, now you have a wonderful repeatable projectile motion apparatus. The beauty of this is the students just calculated the velocity of the ball. So now what you want to have them do is place the ball in here, launch it back, and now that they know the velocity of the ball, have them put a little cup of sand or a bucket of sand somewhere off into the distance. If they know the velocity and they know the height that this is above the ground, they should be able to pinpoint where the ball will land. Once they calculate that, actually have them fire it and see if it lands in the location that they predicted. Ward Science has the widest selection of hands-on materials for your physics course, whether it's introductory physics or advanced levels. Supported by our in-stock guarantee and our in-house science education experts. Please visit us at wardsci.com forward slash physics for more information and to see our collection of selective experiments in physics.